All right, explorers, my favorite people, Brandon O'Bannon, 6'4", exploring with Urbex Dicklin. I got an awesome spot for you guys here. Now, this video, I filmed it a while back, and it's turning out that some of my videos that I filmed a long time ago, I don't know why, but they're not working with my newer editing systems that I really like to use. So I'm going to start trying to get these videos out. Most of them are still full and complete and still amazing how I'd want them to be. But this one here, it's a little jumbly. It's a little bit all over. It's shorter than it should be. I didn't want to just scrap this video completely because I'm here with Noah. It was a very fun day trip. It was such a cool time. So I'm gonna put this one out. Sorry for it being a little bit scrambled, for it being a little bit short. I hated the intro and the outro, so I just scrapped them and I'm filming new ones right now. So I hope you guys like this. Again, sorry for it being a little bit scrambled. I'm gonna go back to this spot in the future and refilm it better, but this one's me and Noah. I know you all love that, so I gotta put it out. Let's get exploring. And I want to add as well, so this house here, this house has a very cool history. I'm pretty sure you know a lot about it if you've been watching exploring videos. There's been one or two about it. But this house is the notorious, horrible Ontario landlord. Like this guy was crooked, he was horrible, everything about him was bad. I'll tell you a little story about him right now, briefly. I think there's a little bit throughout the video. So what happened was this guy, he was a tenant, he was a landlord, real horrible guy. Back during the 70s, he would charge, 70s, 80s, he would overcharge students for what he was allowed to when they were living in houses close to colleges or schools. First he did that. Then he just got so many houses that he, and buildings that he stopped taking care of them. If you called because the pipe was broken, it was your problem. He would tell you what you wanted to hear, but then he wouldn't be back. It would never get fixed unless you did it. He would never reimburse you if you did fix it. All of a sudden then, he starts renting to homosexual people and he would charge them three, four, five times more than what he would charge an, a straight person. Sorry for these terms, but I'm just being as blunt as I can. And he would overcharge them. He was such a horrible person that way. But this is where the story gets interesting too. So, turns out he had a boyfriend. Turned out, taboo as it was, as mean as he was, as horrible as he was, to gay people, he was himself gay. His boyfriend was a big guy in the community. He started a very, very, very big organization that helps a lot of people. So he's not a bad guy. Terror. So he's not a bad guy, but his boyfriend was horrible, the landlord. So he seen what was happening, I guess some stuff happened in the relationship and the boyfriend showed up to the landlord's house and shot him with a shotgun. Now he didn't die, he ended up going to the hospital. The story got out into the news and sure enough people found out from the address, from the area where he was living, just you could put two to two together, they found out where the landlord lived. So they ended up going to the house while he wasn't there, they smashed his car up, they lit it on fire, they smashed into his house, they vandalized the whole house, they broke it every piece you could and he just never came back to this house. <laughs> you know you can't after the whole world pretty much comes, all of Ontario anyway, to destroy your house because you're that horrible of a person. But he fled the country, he's still got properties that are sitting dormant all over the place. I'm gonna film the ones that I can, the ones I know about just because the story's there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's jump right in there and let's get exploring. So we're walking up to the house here and no I didn't really have to point it out but look at this how long does a car have to sit there to just completely rust out I didn't rust out somebody came here oh stripped it no they set it on fire somebody came set it on fire and then they broke into the houses that was a news article about it because of the the guy that owned the property oh way I'll let you look up him though so you can get your history on him all right so we got two houses on this property. This is the smaller of the two. Holy. The 
whole ceiling's coming down. Are you still got an old couch? Oh, the ceiling came down. It wasn't down like this when I came. <laughs> no? Like not when I came the other day. We've had those windy storms and a lot of weather. Now, I don't know if this... Oh, yeah, look at that. It all from water. A nice little beautiful bay window. It's crazy how in the middle of the forest this place is. Stone mantle, stone barbecue, fireplace. I like to call fireplaces barbecues. I'm going to start getting in trouble for that. <laughs> well, we're not going too far in here. There's an old bed frame with some uh, horseshoes. Hole in the roof. Windows open. Getting the fresh air in and getting the mold out. There's a lot of McDonald's bags right there. Everything else is gone. Some mold starting too. It's a big piece of wood. It is so handmade. Yeah, all the way around. Oh, there's a basement. It's sending me down. At least they're good stairs. Ooh. Yeah, there's a little bit of life left here. The garage, I think that's what the green thing is. Oh. Yeah. Bunch of just materials to renovate the place. Yeah, it's basically just in construction, so that's what it looks like. Okay. Very cool. How they'd get their car down here, I don't know. Oh. There was a driveway, like it comes down <laughs> there. And you just loop around and come down. you see when we walk that way. Crazy. I just want to take a peek at these big stones. And a little bit of mess. Like somebody decided to start throwing stuff out the windows instead of... I don't know. A couch and a fridge. Look at the brick. This is a lot different than the other house. We got some work boots. There was somebody here doing something. And again, they got another little awning that's falling down. You always see these industrial steel sinks too. It's always weird. So we gotta we're gonna check out the basement because we can't get there from the inside. We're going to be safe for then, sorry. Yeah. It's a bit unfinished, but you could tell they were still living here. They didn't mind that it was that way. Some old electronics again. It's weird that it's got such serious bricks. They built a lot. Yeah. This is built a lot different than that last house was. Oh yeah. And this is just a little... I wouldn't even know what to guess. It's all styrofoamed off. We just got tons and tons of paper up here. Look at that. of stuff like seventeen thousand or hundred and seventy five thousand dollars, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Um yeah, I mean I I struggle to read handwriting. <laughs> On a napkin deal though, that's but like that's iffy. We got two thousand and one dates here. So you can see too. So that might give us a bit of a time range. There's just so much paperwork in this area here. Oh there's more. <laughs> <laughs> And some old books. You gotta remember he ran multiple businesses, right? So oh, I guess it's couch Just wanna show what the stairs look like. Not sure if we're getting up them, but 
<laughs> Looks decent. I'd go from the outside. Oh. It's the paperwork for the BMW. That's sitting out there burnt now. The welcome package. That's cool that that's still in the property. We made it to the second house on the property here. And it's got some real cool decoration on the, the outside. The way that they've got the wood beams cut into it and just poured concrete around. I've never seen that before. That's one of the coolest looking outsides I've ever seen. <laughs> Get nice big heavy wood doors. The paperwork. Nice brickwork. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful rail in there. Another bracelet left. There's your messy kitchen. It's a pretty industrial little oven though. Just a mess. Some shelves. Look, and they got more, more wood beams concreted in. That's awesome. Again, I've never seen nothing like that. And there was one point where this house, it was actually a time capsule. And the guy that owns this house, he was renting a bunch of other houses to people. But he was being a real shady landlord. And just everything was <laughs> getting mold and bad. So he ended up fleeing the country. And he's been gone. And then now, it's just these properties sitting here. We basically, you left like this huge trail of like vacant and lived in properties throughout like Ontario so like there's stuff in like you know southern northern eastern Ontario and you know he literally was in like so like the cops are after him so much and there's so many people after him for like you know following through contracting deals and everything like that he just fled he probably just fled somewhere to the south <laughs> like Florida or something like that maybe to like and not an extradition country. That's it. But it's a wild story. Like it's just everything left. So here's the like for the BMW. This is the um, BMW Toronto. It says the dealership number, the fax number, and then there's like a bunch of um, stuff. Is like dealer waves the right for freight. Uh, Seven thousand dollars. Like it's a bunch of conditions that he had before buying that BMW. It's like literally just in paper sitting here. And then there's a bunch of like checks for his company. I've noticed a lot of checks hanging around. So weird place. Very weird place. <laughs> but such a cool little history. And then his BMW, somebody came and burnt it, put an axe through the windows. I'm guessing that was probably gonna be an upset tenant. And then after that it's been filmed and now I'm guessing it's just explorers and people that live in the area. But it's just such a beautiful cottage with the wood. Yeah, the beams and stuff. Hey, this would be an expensive place, beautiful place. Like, look at the beams they use like in, like, in the walls, like it's proper beams running through the street. That's, that's, that's awesome. That very often. No, with that gap in between, that's really cool. Yeah. And now we're not being able to go out here as you can see their porch fell but we'll still just do a quick little scan here very cool and i didn't point out the top of the stairs here because i was still planning on going down them but there was a couch here that was blocking everything it's gone but we've already been down there so we don't need to walk all the way down again uh oh. I don't know if that's him or not when he was younger. Mm hmm. But. That could be the troublemaker himself. <laughs> what a very cool little house. 
Solid house, solid property, and beautiful area. Oh yeah. Oh, this was a serious cabin. All the logs that they used. Just the details. Like, I, that still blows my mind. Oh, like, yeah, it's so detailed. Like, they even use it running up the... Uh, and you can see how they're home. crossing into all different directions. Like, they got some serious beams going through. So, like, even the railing, the wood on it, it's just ridiculous. And even still got little details on it. Not much, but... Then there's a... Uh... We got just one last little area. This must have been cleared out at one point. Pretty sure all these pine trees and everything weren't here, but I love these outside barbecues that are just made out of brick. You got your grill, you put some fire, burgers, and you're good to go. Let's do a little scan of the house. You're gonna see Noah. Look at that guy. Look at this. Like we got swallowed up by the forest here, but I don't think it was always that way. All right, all right, buddy. What'd you think about this, eh? What a horrible guy, what a bad person. And such a beautiful house, such an amazing log home on such an amazing property. I'm glad that he's not able to live here anymore. People like him don't deserve to have paradises like this. So I'm glad the townspeople came and did what they did. Just like I said, with that whole dog, the, um, the puppy mill house, the town can't really do nothing, but the townspeople can. So that house should be gone. But this guy, horrible person, Cops weren't doing anything, so the town's folks went and they took care of him, and now he's out of there. I absolutely love it. Like it, subscribe it, share it, comments, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for the love, for the support. All this time, you guys have made this ride absolutely amazing, and I'm just going to keep putting videos out there. Boom, 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 boom. I love you all. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. We will rise